Well, welcome back. Just issued a new tornado watch now includes most of the upstate and western North Carolina through 4 a.m. As this activity back toward the west is going to try to make a run for our area and we're watching it closely. Griffin Hardy and I are in here with our eyes peeled on live Super Doppler 4 watching this uh, with instant access to that data, which is also oh crucial in situations like this. So our Doppler sits here in the upstate stretching into western North Carolina with a good view of what's happening right now. I want to tell you this rain Rain's coming down hard and heavy. Just like that, newly issued severe thunderstorm warning. This is a large box. You see this happen whenever you have uh, a line like this come through. They just go and issue it for all the counties, right? Franklin, up through Bryson City, Jackson County, Haywood County, Buncombe County, Madison County, all included in this brand new severe thunderstorm warning for uh, strong winds. Uh, let's get in here and put a track on this activity as it's rolling through. As we look at this moving on through the area right now, this new warning that is in place for the these counties in Western North Carolina goes until 1215. So strong winds associated with this. Let's put a fresh track on this activity right here as it moves east into Henderson and Buncombe counties. Uh, let me clear this up a little bit. Didn't mean to do that. Here we go again as it moves through these areas, pushing toward the east into Waynesville, Asheville, Marion, Hendersonville, all between now and about 1230, but it's moving quickly. I mean, this is absolutely booking it right now. Lightning, heavy rain, certainly something we'll all hear tonight. One of those nights the kids may be running into your room. Pets may be a little bit on the scared side with the thunder because we got a lot of electricity out of this. Wind is our primary concern out of this. You'll likely hear the wind whipping around that rain and at times uh, some thunder. Uh, the lightning here on the equivalent of about 5,000 lightning strikes here across East Tennessee into North Carolina. Okay, so the severe threat through tonight in the level two medium category, we also have a medium risk for an isolated spin up tornado, something we're watching closely. That threat much higher just to our west. And then tomorrow, as we go throughout the day, that threat is south of us as the storm system kind of ramps up and arrives in those areas at the peak heating of the day. Storm fuel right now, relatively high. We've been muggy and warm all day, and that's continuing. And when I look at the tornado, ingredients. There's some of that building back through Georgia as well, and we've been seeing that on the high side. Now, the latest computer model wants to inch some of this into our area through midnight 1 2 a.m. and then the bulk of that tries to push toward the south going into early morning hours tomorrow. New computer model just finished processing here shows this activity crossing into the mountains into the upstate between now and 1 a.m. So the next two hours crossing into South Carolina around 1 a.m and then moving through Greenville 1, 132, and then pushing toward the southern parts of the upstate 2, 3, 330, and then pushing out of our area, at least that first round through about 5 a.m. We're not done. We've got another round of rain, possibly a few embedded thunderstorms in this as well through 9 a.m. And then between 9 and 10, the worst of this is starting to scoot on out of here and better weather moves in. We're in the mid 60s to close to 70 degrees right now across the area from Abbeville to Hartwell. This is those areas that are issued under that tornado watch at the moment. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, the severe aspect should be pushing to the east, but we're seeing uh, still muggy conditions, rain and some thunder and lightning we will eventually top out at a muggy 82 in Greenville, 81 in Asheville. The four day looks like this. We've got a live Super Doppler 4 impact day tomorrow with lingering rain and thunderstorms, especially early on. A lingering shower can't be ruled out on Friday at 80 degrees, but by Saturday and Sunday, we're clearing out lower humidity, warm temperatures in the afternoon in the upper 70s to around 80 degrees. I want you to know that you need to stay weather aware tonight. Have a way to receive those warnings. Right now, the threat for wind, the highest threat, but we'll be keeping a close watch on all this for you.